So before we even get to this, let's let's talk about what we're doing today. You know, the symbolism, the team, the team, the team, it's a dream, the dream, the dream. And when all, any of us think we have something tough, we have tough exam, or we got, you know, we, we had a bad game, or we got a bad call, or we break up with your girlfriend, or something happens, you talk about what Martin Luther King did for 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 everyone, for for for, for us. Caucasians even like myself, right? They're all sitting, sitting there, this is bravery, this is incredible. And, and the way, best way you can honor him at any time is make maximize every opportunity. One of his famous, famous sayings was, nothing pains people more than to just think. Just think. And they don't want to think, they just want to keep doing the same old thing, whether it's right or wrong. And as a result, that's how, that's that's why we're wearing this stuff today. Yes. And I couldn't be prouder to wear it. Let's go get this thing done today, all right? All right. All right. It's not going down again. So you're prepared for this, but we got to play with that swag, that confidence. That, no, no, you, we might have got beat, but now watch us now. Watch what we take off now. Haven't had this feeling in a long time. Michigan trying to bounce back after a loss. It's their first of the season. They do it against Minnesota here at Chrysler Center. Right side for Washington. Lobs for Curry, right short corner. Has Brooks in there with him. Found an open Murphy who lays it over the front of the rim. And Minnesota's doubled up the Wolverine 16-8. I don't see them playing with a, a, a lot of energy out here right now. And I don't, you, there's no reason to hang your head because your shots are not falling. Picked back up by Washington. Lost the handle. Brasdakis with a steal. Up ahead for Matthews. Matthews, a little European step, and he lays it in off the right side of the glass. And a timeout for Richard Petito. Teske back inside from a nice feed for Charles Matthews to lay it up with a right hand off the left side of the glass. Michigan down by three. Cool to Teske. Open for three. We're tied. Best player on the floor in the first half. Whenever you see the big fella start shooting arrows, he's definitely feeling it. There's no doubt about that. Brasdakis drives right baseline. Hot step in the lane with the right hand off the window. Finally breaks that little streak that had him go over his last 11. Murphy's caught at the other end. Here comes Brasdakis. Found an opening. Takes it coast to coast. Laid it in. And he's fouled. I love the energy. I mean, Radakis has started to have success just because he picked his energy up. Wiggles at the right elbow. Hook shot on the way. Off the glass. Good. Michigan's first lead of the night. And it comes on Xavier Simpson's first field goal of the night. Almost metal lock limonish. 39 37. There's a steal by Simpson. Took it away from Arturo. He'll drive and lay it in. Timeout, Richard Petito. Back to back field goals, and that just shows that that kid's a winner. He does what it takes to win a ball game. On a weave at the top of the arc. Hook pass, Brasdeka, straight away three. Missed it. Rebound, Teske, put back, good. Murphy in the paint. Blocked by Teske. Then he punched it up ahead for Brooks. Brooks, a bounce pass for Livers, jams it down. Well, that's just good basketball there. I mean, Sharon is caring, there's no doubt about that. Here comes Minnesota in transition. Coffee got away with a walk. Took it deep inside, laid it up on the left hand. Minnesota's pulled it within three. 57-54. Michigan has been talked about about their defense. And Kyle Sure for three, nailed it from the left wing to tie it at 57. Hesitates, now mm -hmm. drives deep inside. Floater off the glass, no. Grabbed by Matthews, the putback. What did he won it? Left baseline floater from Charles Matthews. They'll have to take a look at it. But from our vantage point, it sure looked like it left his hand before the horn sounded. They count it. And the game's over. Michigan wins at 59-57. They stay unbeaten at home. Thankful to Iggy, how he creates so much attention. You know, so on his drive, teams collapsed on him, and I was able to pick up the loose rebound. Confident that ball was going in? Yeah, I feel confident in every shot I take, whether it goes in or not. So, like I said, just shoot the ball. It was muscle memory at that time, no thinking. 
you get to 18 and one, but there's a lot of challenges in a schedule and in games. What's the challenge of getting a team to bounce back after a tough loss? Your first. I loss mean, we talked year? about that a great deal. About that's what Michigan teams done. That's I think if you look at the history of our teams here. There's been very few long losing streaks. We usually jump on it, and it's the nature of basketball, too. You don't have to wait for a week, uh, but you do have to be ready to bounce back because you're not going to win them all, and you're on the road a lot, and you got, just got to make it happen. So as a result, we, um, yeah, I felt we did a good job of coming out with our energy. We just couldn't make any shots early and uh, got down big. I mean, got down nine. And for us to come back and win, that was a good accomplishment. John Teske was a big reason why you hung in there and were within nine. How important was his focus and his energy early on? He, he's become our most consistent player right now, yeah. when you really think about it. He, he's always he's so unselfish. He just he wants to, he <laughs> wants to do the things. He's edging ball screens. He's getting offensive rebounds. You know, he's making the big shot there with about from 12 feet with a with a, with a couple minutes to go to put us up by 10. I mean, he's really becoming a one constant that we have. He plays good defense. He's not following Matt like he used to last year, and it's really making us a better team. So you flip the script on Minnesota. You're down nine. You get up 13. And our broadcast, I asked Terry, what was the difference between the first half and the second half offense? And he said it was more about the defense. How would you Yeah, our defense that? was going to be forced turnover, so we get out a little bit. Uh, we got to run better, Matt. We're not running very well. I mean, we're, we're, we're jogging really well, but we're not running really well. And that's going to be a point of emphasis in the film because you can't you can't get stops over and over again and come down and the coach is dialing up plays. So we got to get we got to get better at that. And uh, but I th I do think that we had a couple steals there and we, and uh, we had some breaks and we made we, we we got to the basket and said Iggy did a great job of getting us going in the second half. And then uh, we just sort of we could, should have finished it off strongly. We didn't. All right. So you guys are up 13. They tie it, and then the dramatic shot at yeah. the end for Charles Matthews. How concerned were you as they continued to look at it on replay? Yeah, the longer I, I, when started, I thought it favored yeah. the Gophers. Matt, Matt, you've been with me a long time. It seems like it. It's probably not true. Every time we go to the video, we seem to lose that, that video war. And when they went to it, I said, that I saw the ball go out of his hands. I then heard the buzzer. I thought it was good. And um, when they showed up on the screen, I wasn't even afraid to look. We did not want to go back into overtime. That was what happened last year. They made a three late in overtime and, and sent an overtime last year when we had to win. So we're very fortunate to win this game, Matt. Very fortunate. And uh, we'll take it. We love it. Uh, but we got to get better or, or there won't be as many of these wins as we, as we would like to have. A little bit later on, a really cool story about Michigan hockey playing at Madison Square Garden. But up next, Brian Bush has the story from Bloomington on whether or not the Wolverines could sweep the regular season series from the Hoosiers. Inside Michigan basketball is brought to you in part by Gardner White. You'll overpay anywhere else. And by Buick GMC. Visit your Metro Detroit Buick GMC dealer for exceptional offers all month long. Which team is going to be more glued tonight? We're stronger today than we were last week, and we're more ready for anything. That's right. Right? We weren't ready for something at Wisconsin. We weren't ready for adversity. We hadn't seen much of it. Now you're more ready. You experienced it. We got through it. The sun came up, and we're ready to go. We're all better for it. Coaches are better for it. We're going to win tonight because we play freaking defense. Right. I don't care what coach has gone over everything. We went through a thousand facts. Right? You know that I got to get in a stance. I got effort. Right? Just what we saw when we had to stop guys the other night. That we stopped them. We stopped them. We learned we got to sprint better. Right? We got to sprint better. We're going to get the 50 50s and we're going to have positive energy right. all over the place. Right. I don't want to go into a huddle and you're not going to see me. And you're not going to see you right with our heads down. Your eyes are on. We're talking to each other. Remember Mo Wagner in every huddle, what he was doing, right? And Muhammad Ali wasn't a great talker, but he didn't see the negativity, right? We got to be positive, positive, either, and this includes Coach Beeline, the most of it. You're either an energy giver or you're an energy drainer. You're one of those two, and that includes me. I got to give you energy, but you got to give each other energy. Right. Right. And we got to yeah. see that all the time. Whether you're being coached up or not, there's energy and it's positive. Right. And then finally, we're united as one on the road. Yep. Right? We're fighting together with every fiber, always strong men mentally and physically. We play for each other. We don't play to win, we play for each other. And that's what winning will take care of itself. Let's go. <laughs> 
days after a buzzer-beating win, Wolverines in Bloomington, Indiana, for the second meeting with the Indiana Hoosiers. Simpson has it. Wolverines working on a 5-0 lead. Simpson dribble drive. Kick it left side. Here's Poole for a three. Ring it up. 8-0 Michigan, just like that. Feed it over to Simpson. Head and shoulder fake. Kick it out toward Brisdakis at the point. Lays it up. Driving to the basket. An easy finger roll. 10-0 Michigan. 16 minutes to go. First half. Simpson drives. Lays it up and in. Timeout, Archie Miller, who is living. What a start for Michigan. If you ever had any type of plan to take a crowd out of the ball game? <laughs> This is it. This is the recipe. Get up 12 nothing. Poole has it at the point. Kick it over left side for Zegas. Extra feet. Matthews left corner for three. He got it. 15 nothing Michigan. Here's Simpson. Left block for Michigan. Works around the rainbow. Fires it inside. Pesky there for a two-hand cram. 17 nothing Michigan. How about this, Terry? Yeah, how about this? I mean, is that a football score we're looking at, or are we playing basketball? Al Durham the other way. High off the backboard. Lays it in low on the right. And Indiana's first field goal comes at the 10-13 mark of the first half. It's 24, Michigan. Works around a couple of Hoosier defenders. Feeds it in toward Brisdakis. Reverse layup low on the right. He knocks it down. Cool. In between the circles. Wants a John screen. Gets it. Trying to do some contact. Fades away from the left wing and buries a three. Feed the post in toward Morgan. Working on Teske. Nice shoulder shake. Flings it up. Yes. And Indiana is within 11. Cool. Wheels around a Teske screen. Now fires it over to Brisdakis. Left wing for three. Got it to go. How about the response as Brisdakis holds up his hands? Finnessy bouncing it over to Morgan. Somehow controls it. And he lays it in underneath the basket. Ten point game. Weaving around a Teske screen. Still driving. Kick it out for Brisdakis. Right corner for Trey. And he swishes it in. How good has Ignis Brisdakis been with 18? Matthews at the point. He'll pull up for a three. Knocks it down. Charles Matthews starting to assert himself in the second half. Michigan up 15. Matthews around to Teske screen. Pulls up in front of the three-point line and buries it again. How about Charles Matthews, the sharpshooter here in Bloomington, Indiana? Yeah, he's got himself in a groove right now. And so all Michigan really needed was someone else to kind of catch fire. So Matthews drives to the left point. Kick it out left wing. There's Teske for a three. Quick little arrow shot there. Tiptoes to the right wing. Now he'll pull up, and he's short on it. Rebound one hop to Simpson. Up ahead, oh. Brisdakis. Head and shoulder fake. Lays it in. And that might be the dagger. Michigan up 21, and Archie Miller needs a timeout. First, take me through that early run. What was key yeah. for you guys to go out 17 yeah, You know, I think the whole theme after our Wisconsin loss, Minnesota bare, barely win, is that we got to hit singles. Just look for each other, find each other, step up and make shots when you're open, and don't try and do too much because it was really that extra dribble, that, that simple play wasn't happening. And then we turned around and put some great defense. I mean, they couldn't they didn't get shots up. We were stealing the ball. We really played well. But you said this three-game and seven-day stretch yeah. would be tough. Yeah. Well, you took the rubber match here yeah. today. What's it say about this team to do what they did with this tight schedule? Yeah, I don't look ahead in the schedule very much, but because there was two trips, I had to make decisions on departure times, meal times, all these things that I looked at. And I said, whoa, that's interesting, right? <laughs> that, that, that we're going to go to Wisconsin where we, we've, we've, we've only won twice, right? And then we're going to go to Indiana where we've only won twice. Mixed in with a Minnesota team that's pretty good. So I, I, you look at it, you want to win all three, but we'll take that two out of three. Coach, congratulations. Thanks for the time. All right, thank you. John Beeline and the Wolverines, a wire-to-wire -wire win for the second time this month against the Indiana Hoosiers. Coming on the road, winning by 23. Ignis Brzdakis leading the way in points. Charles Matthews, a double-double. A lot of key contributors in what was a team win for the Maize and Blue. And we stuck to the plan. We executed the plan well. Coach B and the coach staff gave us a great plan to go out there and execute. We did that. We jumped off the great start offensively. We were knocking out shots. And uh, our defense really set the tone. I mean, I don't think they scored for the first seven, eight minutes. Open three-point shooters allowed us to drive in and make shots. So I feel like when we're all really aggressive, it, it makes us a dangerous team. How much fun is it to take the life out of a crowd like this? Yeah, it's really fun. You know, uh, when we came back to the bench, we kind of looked up and we saw a lot of the fans leaving. But, uh, you know, this is a great program. You know, salute to them. But it was still fun to kind of shut the crowd. Pretty easy decision for the Alro Steel Iron Man of the Week. Charles Matthews had the game winner on Tuesday against Minnesota. Turns around Friday night on the road, comes up with a double double, his second of the season. He was key for the Wolverines, and he's this week's Alro Steel Iron Man of the Week. Brian, thanks. When we come back, our DTE Performance of the Week. Time for this week's DTE Performance of the Week.
crossover dribble, gives it up to Bryce Davis. A jump stop. Hesitates, now drives, deep inside, floater off the glass, no, grabbed by Matthews, the putback, one in, he won it! Left baseline floater for Charles Matthews, wins it for the Wolverines and the buzzer. The women's basketball team is hosting its annual Crash Chrysler event today against Michigan State at 2 p.m. The Wolverines are hoping Michigan fans pack Chrysler and don't forget to wear your maze. The program's first ever sellout home game took place against the Spartans in February 2017. 12,707 fans watched Michigan sophomore Hallie Thoen lead the Wolverines with 21 points and 8 rebounds. Michigan led by a point at the half, but Michigan State went on a 14-4 run to start the second half and take control of the game. The last time these teams met at Chrysler Center was last January. Senior Caitlin Flaherty led all scorers with 26 points as Michigan dominated the Spartans 74 to 48. The 26 point margin of victory was the largest in series history for the Wolverines. Another big crowd is expected Sunday afternoon at Chrysler. Do you like to say you prepare the scene for every game, but there is a different factor. It's just like Ohio State, the rivalry games, and it's the, the one in Michigan. So I think for basketball, Michigan, Michigan State is the, the epitome of rivalries, and I'm just really excited to get back on the court for it. It's going to be a huge game. We're, we're fighting for a win, and I think uh, we just got to really work our hardest, um, play our hardest, and hopefully the chips fall in our favor. But we just got just to play every possession like it's our last, and it's going to be fun. The Wolverines split a pair of games last week, beating Ohio State at home before falling at Indiana. Freshman Nas Hillman led Michigan against the Buckeyes with 20 points and 8 rebounds. Senior Nicole Munger scored 18 points for the Wolverines, who held a one-point lead at the intermission. But Ohio State scored the first 11 points of the third quarter and led by 12 with 8 minutes to go in the game. Michigan fought back and went on a 7-0 run in the final minute of the game, getting a triple from Munger, a putback bucket from Hillman, and a pair of free throws from Munger to beat the Buckeyes 62-58. Hillman and Munger were the team's leading scorers with 16 points apiece Thursday night in Bloomington. Michigan closed within a bucket of the Hoosiers with just over three minutes remaining, but Indiana answered with five straight points to regain control. 70 to 60, the final from Assembly Hall. For Inside Michigan Basketball, I'm Sarah Van Meter. Sarah, thank you. Mel Pearson's dad played for the New York Rangers. Now he gets to coach the Wolverines at the world's most famous arena. The hockey story is next. Michigan's leaders and best are brought to you by Gardner White Furniture. Here's Ed Kongerski. It's a walk that stimulates the senses like none other. Game day in New York City. A short stroll up 7th Avenue from the team hotel to Madison Square Garden. Saturday, the Michigan hockey team mixing with a mass of humanity before mixing it up with Penn State. Coach Mel Pearson trying to lead his guys to a weekend sweep. Thursday, the Wolverines ambushed the Nittany Lions 5-1 at Yost Arena. This time, it was the Lions' turn, though. They erupted for three goals in the first to take a commanding lead, rolling to a 5-2 win. We had some catastrophic uh, breakdowns tonight, and they scored on us. Uh, we gave up too many outnumbered rushes. You know, I, I, I wish I could sit here and say that the better team won, but uh, we beat ourselves tonight. We put a lot of pucks on that and you know, hit a lot of posts as well. Um, you know, it's frustrating when that happens. The loss may have soured their New York visit a bit, but Michigan remains in the middle of the Big Ten hunt and will always have this unique experience to reflect on. A great experience playing in one of the you know greatest sports venues in the world, but kind of take it in stride and learn from it and move on. Pearson called this a business trip first and foremost, but he also wanted the guys to have an educational, cultural, and historical experience. They'll do that on Sunday when they visit the 9-11 Memorial and Museum before returning to Ann Arbor. In New York City, I'm Ed Kingerski. Ed, thanks. We know the Big Ten Hockey Conference is challenging, and so is basketball. Doesn't get any easier for John Beeline and the Wolverines. A home and an away game coming up for them this week. First against the Buckeyes of Ohio State, who earlier this year was on a major roll. And then a top 25 showdown against the Hawkeyes of Iowa at Carver Hawkeye Arena. We'll have all the reaction, all the highlights for you on next week's edition of Inside Michigan Basketball. Hope you can join us. Until then, have a great week, everybody, and go Blue. Inside Michigan Basketball is brought to you in part by Buick GMC. Visit your Metro Detroit Buick GMC dealer for exceptional offers 